Okay, hey Bruce Lee fans, this is another video for you Bruce Lee fans. If you've, been, if you've ever read a lot of books like I have of Bruce Lee, you know that Dan Inosanto always talked about going to Bruce's house in Culver City. Well, thankfully to another fan, hardcore fan like us, he uh, found all the check stubs. I don't know where he got them, but he got the address of the house where I don't know if you know that anecdote where I think this is the house where Dan Inocento said they were they couldn't have, they were amazed when he did that kick and he he busted up that that uh, that that dummy that he was he had all packed with I guess like felt and and it, it exploded. Well, this is the house. This is the house where also Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I remember he talked a lot about it. And I'm sorry that I don't have the book with me because there were some pictures of Dan Inocento and his kids here. And it's at 4114 Van Buren Place, right behind what was once Salsnick Studios. And here it comes, fans. Bruce Lee lived here. He was 27 right after the, uh, the, the, the cancellation of the Green Hornet. He was 27 and he lived in this house. Bruce Lee fans. When he opened the Chinatown Dojo on College Street in LA's Chinatown. Here it is. Here's the house. They, I think they talked about the basketball rim in the back and then that he used to kick up that high i'd have to get the book i'm sorry but i'm going to take you to one more spot but bruce lee lived here right after the green hornet show uh i guess his finances you could tell obviously came down after having lived on Wilshire boulevard during the making of the green hornet and he was only 27 can you believe that okay uh and uh ted wong was his sparring partner here uh just like a lot of his friends but i guess i would assume a lot of his friends just came here like kareem dan and asano ted wong and uh i got a book where it has a lot of photos with him sparring with ted wong and dan and asanto and in fact dan, dan and asanto still lives in culver city from what i've heard and his academy here it used to be in torrance and now it's in a Marie, um, uh, this, uh, Mar Vista, about, I guess about two miles west of us. And one night when I was driving by, it was late and the lights were flooding out and I was watching the great master. I was fortunate to go in there and watch him uh, practice and teach his students his form of martial arts. Okay. Uh, it's just amazing that I found the house thanks to that hardcore fan. And I'm gonna take you now to where Bruce Lee took a bunch of photos with Ted Wong in 1966. And this is uh, one of a four series. This is Bruce Lee's fighting method. And I had the others, but I lost them during a move. South, this is the fighting method one. And then I, I got right here, there's uh, volume one. Let's see, which one is this? I guess, I guess this is volume one. And then you have volume two, basic training, skill and techniques, volume, volume three and volume four, advanced techniques. So we're right here, we're in old Culver City where all the R Gang films were made. Hal Roach, MGM, Salsnick Studios, Gone with the Wind. This was all once the back lot of MGM and, and uh, Thomas H. N. Studio. So let's go now to where uh, Bruce Lee took a bunch of photos. And the guy that took the photos was uh, Joe Bodner. He ph photographed all these uh, scenes. And I found it by serendipity matching the pictures. And if you're a hardcore fan, you're gonna wanna know where it was at. So let's go. And uh, it's right off Washington Boulevard. And it makes sense because obviously he was living in Culver City at the time. Yeah, he made them in 1966. So it must have been right there hanging out at Dan Inosanto's house. Okay, Bruce Lee fans, please subscribe to my uh, channel. And you can see Bruce Lee's statue in LA's Chinatown. And where he uh, ran on Roscomer Road, where he jogged, and where he lived with Linda, Brandon, and Shannon in Bel Air. Okay, thank you very much.